So the final thing I want to talk about is the Excel Write. So let me enable that guy. Um, and what you can do <clears throat> is you can take the information. So here's the area coming out of there. So if we take a look at the uh, at what's coming out of that, right? There's the area. So the various areas in a grafted node, right, coming out. Um, and that goes into the round here. And I simplify it so it's still coming out. And that gets pushed into the data. So that's going to be a row of data, right? So if there were multiple things going on here, it would just stack this in the first row and that a second. Or, sorry, this would be the first row going across and then the next one would be a second row. <clears throat> and then the headings, so the column headings, are coming uh, from the Rhino attributes. So if we take a look, and those are just a list a straight list, right? And those get pushed into the heading, so that'll create the columns. It's going to put it on worksheet one. It's going to save it to the C test um, Excel spreadsheet. So I have that saved on my C drive. Um, and it'll clear the data every time it reruns. So let me delete this. And let's go ahead and make it true. And then... Um, let's go ahead and enable this. All right, so data written to Excel spreadsheet. So it wrote out the data. There is a little um, preview. If you right click on this, you can sort of preview what it's going to write out. So you can see it's writing out basically this into an Excel spreadsheet. Um, if I close that and then we come over and let me just drag this over here. Here's my C drive, right? And then there's the um, thing that is writing out right there. So then you can open up your Excel spreadsheet and do whatever you want to do with it. Okay.